Hi, I'm Tom Marks with the Marks Law Firm in Orlando, Florida. I am here starting my first YouTube video with my series, The Healthy Family Law Attorney. So our passion is to provide hope and help in a healthy way to families trying to navigate the family law process. That can include divorce, paternity, custody battles, um, attorney fee disputes, and so forth. So let's get started. I want to start out with telling you who I am, what I intend to offer in the way of content with this video series, and also why it would be important to you to hear it and why I'm doing it. So first, who am I? Why do I have the word healthy in the Healthy Family Law Attorney video series here? Well, I started a blog about two years ago called The Healthy Lawyer, and it's all about my journey with uh, living a healthier lifestyle. It's about healthy living, not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, and every other way. Now, family law is a very difficult area of practice, and it's very hard on clients. So let's try to have a healthy perspective, right? So the Healthy Lawyer blog, which you can see below if you want to follow that blog, talks about my journey, losing 50 pounds, really seeking healthier passions. I do have a passion for uh, avocado trees. I'm kind of known as the avocado guy, um, but I've been working out more, eating healthier, and realizing there's a healthier way to practice family law. So I'm gonna talk about a lot of content that will be focused in that area. So I've been practicing family law in Central Florida for coming on 34 years. Uh, I started my own firm, the Marks Law Firm, tw almost 29 years ago. We have four attorneys, we have three paralegals, and four administrative staff. So we're different than the typical family law firm that has perhaps one or two attorneys, but most family law firms, I believe, are sole practitioners. So the benefits of having multiple attorneys in a family law firm are one, you can specialize within the specialty of family law. Uh, you have other attorneys in the firm that can cover in case you're out um, on vacation or if you're in a trial or in mediation or something, you always have somebody available to you. And obviously to have a team behind you uh, with paralegals and administrative staff is really helpful. And we'll get into that. I have been married for 34 years, coming in November. I'm counting on it, making it to November. Uh, we have two adult children, uh, almost 28 and 25. Our daughter just graduated with her master's degree um, in uh, clinical social work. And our son is pursuing a degree in animal science. So uh, we have a dog and four cats. Never thought I would be a cat person, but I guess I am now. Um, I have been chairman of the Family Law Executive Committee for the Orange County Bar. I have been chairman of the Florida Bar Grievance Committee that oversees grievance uh, complaints about lawyers and a lot are family law attorneys that come before us or who have come before us. And also I am a, um, at the master's level in the Central Florida Family Law Inns of Court. I've also been chairman of the Florida Hospital um, East Orlando Foundation Board, chairman of the uh, Orange County Animal Services Advisory Board. Um, I have been a member of the Christian Legal Society since law school, so I graduated the University of Florida Law School in 1985, have been practicing in Central Florida ever since. So I did pr uh, practice with a couple of other firms before starting the Marks Law Firm. I started handling family law cases because the firm I was with 
had a client, very good client, that needed uh, help with one of their family members in a family law case, and I was low man on the totem pole. So I quickly learned that I really enjoyed family law more than I did the commercial litigation that I was doing. I learned a lot how to practice law, um, a lot of uh, the discovery practice, the motion practice, pleading practice, all of that, doing commercial litigation that you don't really get if you just start out in family law. But I learned that I really, really liked working with individuals. I'm a relationship person. I'm a, I'm an extrovert. I'm a type A. I really like going to battle for my clients and have done that for 34 years. So that's kind of who I am. So what can you expect from this uh, YouTube channel? Um, well, I'm going to talk a lot about different topics like collaborative law, alimony, child support, uh, custody battles. I've got some topics, the top uh, factors to consider um, in choosing a family law attorney. Five reasons collaborative law is a better process than the litigation process. Top 10 mistakes to avoid in a family law case. Number four, the most important factors to consider in a custody case. Five, six types of alimony in Florida. I don't know if most people know that there are that many different types and that you can mix and match them and so forth. Um, and then we're going to get into the, the most important financial documents in the case. The most important document is the financial affidavit. So we're going to talk a lot about that and, and how to pursue a family law case, how to navigate through the process in a, in a healthier way. There are different, what we call ADR, which is Alternative Dispute Resolution, uh, methods of resolving case, whether it's collaborative law, mediation, four-way settlement conferences, to try to avoid litigation and that tremendous expense. So we'll drill down on a lot of those. And then finally, the why. Why am I doing this and why would you want to follow my YouTube channel. Number one, why am I doing this? Because I have a passion for it. I love my clients. I love to connect. I love to, I'm very strategic in how I do things. I, I actually was quite a nerd growing up. I played competitive chess, which is a very strategic game. I actually won the Dade County Championship twice. Um, so yes, I've got that strategy, but I've also got that connection with the client. We'll talk about IQ versus EQ, but if you're gonna do family law, you have to have really high EQ, emotional quotient, to really understand what is it the family law client wants to achieve. So why am I doing it? Because I have a passion. I wanna provide hope. I wanna provide help to clients. I wanna do it in a healthy way. That's all about the passion, helping the clients navigate through the family law process in a different way than what you'd hear from perhaps most lawyers, which would be the traditional uh, litigation model, which can be incredibly expensive and can be destructive to the family. So we want to protect the children. We want to protect the family unit, if at all possible. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I actually have a very high success rate in helping clients reconcile. Now, not all clients are going to reconcile, of course. But I want to at least give my clients that opportunity in the right circumstance, not in a case where there's physical or emotional abuse going on, right? So um, we want to do things differently. Um, Einstein's theory of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. We want to avoid that. We want to get a different result. If you're coming into a family law attorney's office, it's because things are not going well. So we need to do something different. So I hope that will provide hope and help in a healthy way to families going through or navigating the divorce or the family law process. And I look forward to providing that kind of content. And I, I want to connect with like-minded people who really want to be good parents, love their children, 
maintain as healthy a relationship as you can with the other parent or your significant other uh, because it's what's best for the kid. In essence, it's what's best for you. And the reason I say families in my passion statement is because I realize divorce, and custody battles, paternity, all these things affect the entire family, not just the nuclear family, not just the client who's coming in, but extended family. Grandparents are involved, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, all of that. So it's an exciting time for me to provide this information to you and I hope you find it valuable. Uh, please leave uh, comments below if you have any. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any topics you'd like to be uh, talked about in my video series, then I'd be happy to do that. I've got a lot already planned that I have in store for you. So again, uh, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.